Judgment day begins when the sea, death, and hell delivers up the dead. Great multitudes of people shall come forth, not unto a resurrection of life, but unto a resurrection of damnation. Jesus Christ will appear unto them, not as a loving and forgiving Savior, but as an angry and wrathful judge. His revealing from heaven with his mighty angels and flaming fire will be staggering to the mind and awesome to behold. Daniel, who looked into the future, describes the scenes thus. I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the Ancient of Days did sit, whose garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head as the pure wool. His throne was like of the fiery flame, and his wheels as burning fire. A fiery stream issued and came forth from before him. Thousand thousands ministered unto him, and ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him. The judgment were set, and the books were opened. Daniel chapter 7, verses 9 and 10. Jesus Christ gathers the dead for judgment. One by one they must appear before him, and every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess to God. Everyone shall give an account of himself to God. Oh, what terrifying fear and perpetual shame shall grip them when every secret, every thought, every deed, and idle word, and every judgment that they have made shall become manifest in this day of wrath. The greatest sin of the wicked and their never-ending condemnation is that they have refused God's gift of eternal life through Jesus Christ. They have trodden underfoot the Son of God and have counted the blood of the covenant as an unholy thing and hath done despite unto the Spirit of grace. The Bible says they will be cast into the lake of fire. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of a living God. If you suffer eternal hell, it's your fault. You have chosen it and have earned it, and that you have rejected God's way of salvation. You have made a pit and have fallen into it yourself. Won't you call upon Jesus to save you from your sins? It was Jesus who bore your sins and died in your place and took your punishment. In three days he arose from the grave victorious over death, and he offers to you with outstretched arms this his victory, eternal life. Won't you call upon him? The Bible says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved.